My reaction to the announcement of the Second Vatican Council was one of elation because at that time I was living in Europe, in Switzerland, I was at the University of Fribourg. We had all these experts, um, purity, they, they called them, at the, uh, at the council, and they would go off as the sessions began and they would be there and then when they come back after the session they'd sit down with us and tell us all the fun stories uh, about what happened. And uh, it was, it was uh, exciting. It was like being there almost. Then, uh, as the council ended, I was ordained and was sent back to the United States, okay? And as soon as I got back, the Archbishop of Philadelphia asked me if I would give talks to the priests in the diocese introducing all these new things they were going to do. Well, that got uh, a lot of good press from uh, many of the priests, and they asked me to do it in their parishes. And so I was overwhelmed by uh, the council as soon as I got back. And then I realized how it wasn't just me this was impacting. It wasn't just exciting for the clergy. It was mostly uh, invigorating to the laity. The laity were called to do all the ministerial things that were done before by priests and deacons and all that kind of stuff. Participation is what happened. All these people were able to participate in the liturgical actions and the ministerial actions of the church. Everybody can get involved in everything. It's fantastic. You go into a parish and it's, it's electric. You know, our parish is just, we have so many things going on that you realize that this really did uh, cause all of these people to be um, energized. Well, my favorite thing about the Vatican Council is the universal call to holiness. Um, it was something championed by Francis de Sales 400 years ago. Uh, the council picked that up as something extremely valuable for the spiritual life of the church. And the council was a spiritual life council. It, was, it wasn't laws and regulations, it was the, it was the life uh, of people. And uh, the fear I have at this time is that too much is going on accidentals and not enough on the essentials of the thing. So I think the challenge of the council is for the people uh, who really know about it, the theologians and priests and, all, and, and laity who have studied it, uh, to really uh, impress the real value of the council and make sure it, gets, it stays on its track. And that's my greatest hope, uh, that, the, that the council, will, uh, its spirit will continue uh, through the laity, mainly the laity.